So what are the best ways that you can drive sustainable and scalable lead generation? And how can you get high quality leads on a consistent basis? Well, this is something that I've been researching and I've been delving into deeply. And I've also been applying it to the clients that I've been working with. And in my team, we've been focusing on building high quality lead generation systems in the businesses that we work with. And I wanna show you how we go about doing that and how we think through this as well. The first thing that we're looking at is free content, which is something that everybody already knows. When we talk about free content, this is something that comes down to how can you create content that is organically done for free to be able to generate leads in your business. And before we delve deeper into this, my name is Leif. Welcome to Wallace TV. On this channel, I share advice, tools, and motivation to help you build a growth website that generates leads and also to teach designers and other creatives ways that they can leverage these strategies to be able to be more impactful with the clients that they work with. So in my team, what are we focusing on? We're focusing on content marketing, okay? We're focusing on specifically different types of content for our target audience. We're focusing on a long-term strategy around search engine optimization. And we're also creating lead magnets, right? That are targeted to our ideal customer and leveraging email in the process as well. Now, the key thing I want you to understand and many of you have heard this and know about this, is that when we talk about content, when we talk about content, what we're doing is we're basically saying, who is our ICP? Who is our ideal customer? Where are they hanging out the most online? And what content would be the most ideal content to get there? When we talk about SEO, the ways that we're leveraging SEO is by using AI to help us to create more content much faster, but we're using AI alongside the human touch, right? Uh, and this is basically where we're taking AI, we're leveraging the human being as well to input things that are specific to that um, ideal customer to make the piece of content more unique, adding in frequently asked questions, adding in video content, adding in tables and comparison tables and specific imagery that just makes that piece of content stand out even more. Another thing we're doing around the SEO is backlinking, okay? So the backlinking is super important to be able to keep the SEO strong and then looking at where our competitors are getting backlinks from and then creating those backlinks as well. So these are the two things here. Uh, like I said, on the content marketing, this specifically comes down to what content works for our ideal customer. It might be video, okay? Like I try to use video as much as possible with all the SaaS companies I'm working with. And all of my, what I do in my team is that we have a creative team uh, uh, that goes out and creates the content for the clients that we work with to be able to drive traffic to the company website as well, leveraging AI. And we also over here on the content side are leveraging AI as well. Some of the tools we're using like Opus and a few others to help us spin out content much faster. So we're leveraging AI on the content, we're leveraging AI on the SEO, but around lead magnets, the thing that we do differently is that over here on lead magnets, we this is where we're actually creating tools. So our lead magnets aren't PDFs or white papers. Although they have value, we find that tools are more effective to be able to drive leads for our clients. And the reason why is because tools give make people give us their email and sometimes even more the information like a phone number. And because people are using tools, we know it's a higher quality lead as well. So tools are a much more effective way, free way of generating leads, leveraging AI driven content, as well as AI driven SEO. These three strategies are great ways already for you to maximize the quality of the leads that you're generating. That's just using free tools as well. The second thing that we're doing is we're leveraging paid. Now, everybody knows about this paid ads, we get it. But the different thing over here is that where we have Google ads, one of the key things that we do around Google is that we continuously optimize by removing negative keywords. Now, so many clients I'm working with don't actually do this, where they're going into their Google Ads account and they're removing and pruning and optimizing the ad account by removing negative keywords. So, so many people I'm going into and seeing that, okay, you're paying extra money for keywords that are not even getting you any traffic. So that's one of multiple strategies that we do. And also on the ad side, we are also leveraging AI again to be able to help us optimize our ads and move 10 times faster and off the back of these ads and the, and the conversion side of the ads, 
We are also creating uh, reports for the leadership team. And these reports empower our leadership team, executive team to be able to make better decisions based upon the spend on our ads as well. So the next thing that we're doing is um, social media ads. Okay. Social media ads. Okay. So this is uh, Google, f f sorry, Facebook, TikTok, etc. But the key thing here, yes, we're leveraging AI again, but on the paid ad side, this is where it comes back to the first one. The difference is what we're doing is on the content side, we create as many vid short form videos as we possibly can. And even if we're targeting enterprise clients, it doesn't matter. We might be doing like a AI based or, or using video with the founder to leverage that on LinkedIn. And then we see what videos organically get the highest views. Now, when we know the videos get the highest views, we take those videos and then we move it over here and those now become our ads. And the ads are based on traffic that we know organically has been sent to these um, uh, individual videos that we've been leveraging. So we find the best performing uh, organic content and now we can rework that content and change it into ad-based content as well. So this is a strategy that we leverage to make the ad costs a lot more efficient. Why? Because we know organically it's optimized and working really well as well. Uh, and the last thing that I'll talk about is retargeting. Okay. Uh, and so many of you understand this already. This is where we're creating custom audiences, lookalike audiences, but maybe custom audiences of people who have hit our site over the past 180 days and making sure that it's got a very clear call to action of what we want people to do book a call sign up for this free trial etc and we're leveraging that on the retargeting side the last thing i'll touch on is partnerships okay this is a super important piece but it's 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 understated how valuable partnerships are so from a partnership standpoint what we're doing is we're working with our clients to create an affiliate program as long as they're open to it for their SaaS products uh, and their products in general, and then leveraging the affiliate program. And then from the affiliate program, seeing how we can create joint venture content. All right. So uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to say it, but like, that's how I call it. Jo JV joint venture content, um, but it's connected content that we're doing together. And then we're driving people into our affiliate program from that joint venture content. And this leads me to my last point where it's connected to, but it's not the same where we're leveraging influencers. All right. Um, and influencers that would be relevant to our ideal market. Now, it doesn't mean that we're doing JV content because JV content has a different uh, focus and energy. But what we're doing is we're working with influencers and this could be not just content, but it could also be events, right? So this could be pop-ups. This could be um, short form events. This could be uh, in-person events, online webinar events, but basically we're doing events. This is super valuable to work with influencers. They pull in their audience, we pull in ours, we cross pollinate audiences, and then there's value in doing that as well. Now, this structure helps us to think about our lead generation in a much more effective way because we're able to generate much higher quality simply because of the fact that we've systemized our approach to be able to get HQL, high quality leads, on a consistent basis. Now, between free and paid, free and paid, what we're trying to do, the relationship between these two is we are literally trying to maximize reach. That's the real focus here. So because our goal is to maximize reach, we create metrics around how we've been able to do that between these two and how we, whom we reach in. Impressions is a factor, but it's not the most important factor. But the thing that we're doing here is we're measuring what we call SQL, sales qualified leads, we're measuring MQL, marketing quality qualified leads, we're measuring cap customer acquisition costs, we're measuring things like CTR, like click through rate. So all of these different things we're measuring to be able to see how are we maximizing reach along the way. Between paid and paid and partnerships, what we're trying to do here specifically for the business is make sure that we expand, okay? We're trying to expand the credibility, okay? This is really important, um, right? Because one thing I've seen from a previous um, training that I did uh, is that when the brand credibility is low, and we saw it with our most recent client, challenger in the market, better fees, they have a better service, better customer service, but 
from speaking to customers, the actual brand um, loyalty or the brand credibility is low. So we're trying to increase that brand credibility by leveraging partnerships as a way to increase trust in the audience as well. And then through the partnerships that we do and any free content that comes off the back of a partnership that we create, this is helping us to create cost-effective strategies around marketing as well. So we're trying to find cost-effective ways to be able to drive down the cost, the customer acquisition cost of the leads that we are targeting via social media ads. And that helps because we're leveraging that through partnerships. You see, the big thing that we're always trying to focus on is, okay, how, what are the ways that we can, for free, make sure that we continuously build brand authority? Right? And one of the biggest brands that I've seen do this is a brand like Patagonia. Patagonia, through their free content and through the way the founder has been able to focus his energy on sustainability and make sure sustainability is the biggest part of what he's doing, this has been a factor in making sure that they've been able to build brand authority. Now, over here on the paid side, we're leveraging paid marketing so that we can accelerate. I don't even think you guys can see this one, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to accelerate lead volume right so that's the key thing that we do by paying for ads we're trying to accelerate the number of leads over here and over here it's not just about expanding credibility we're leveraging partnerships so that we can also expand the reach of the people that we're going after as well okay so there's big things that we're consistently focusing on but the main thing here to generate higher quality leads is to make sure that we're leveraging ai alongside this free paid partnership practice of working as well so uh, i hope this has been super valuable to you these are some things that i begin to think about or that i'm working on with my team and the clients that we work with and the focus for us is making sure that in all that we do all that we do we're finding the most cost effective ways of doing it in our approach as well so you realize here you can't just nowadays to generate high quality leads have like oh we're only going to focus on seo or just organic social you have to have a multi-pronged approach and you have to have a systemized connected way of working to make sure that your lead gen is more effective for what you do as well so i thank you so much for watching this video i hope it's been valuable i'd love to you to let me know of these three strategies which one do you think that you've been underutilizing which one strategy a free strategy a paid or a partnership strategy which one have you underutilized uh let me know in the comments below and uh, I'd love to start the conversation around how you can start to improve that today. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.